Oh, welcome to episode three of Cooking with the Doctor. We're on now. We're on the third ingredient challenge, which I am excited for today. Because our third ingredient in the challenge on the list is cumin. Okay, I am a big fan of cumin. Uh, the one thing to note uh, with uh, cumin that we're going to be using here today, okay, on uh, cumin in general, it's uh, it's a really potent spice, so this is going to be difficult. Uh, di I initially th was thinking maybe this is going to be a bit difficult since these are supposed to be important ingredients, um, kind of, you know, centerpiece ingredients to the dish. So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cumin, uh, chili powder, and cayenne pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook some chicken in it, um, in the spice mix, and we're going to do some chicken nachos today, okay? So, uh, with this first thing I am going to do is, and show you over here, once again, we have the colma. Um, I'm going to turn this um, medium, yeah, I'm going to turn this on medium. Uh, it's probably the, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Just a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. So here's what we're going to do then, okay? As we're letting that heat up, um, I'm going to take you down here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of that cumin. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's take some of this chili powder. And what we're going to want to do with this one is, yeah, so at most you probably want cumin to be maybe a third of this mix between the chili powder, the cumin, and the cayenne. Um, I'm going to try to do about one part each. Okay, so let's see here. Get a little more chili powder in here. Just a little bit more. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're then going to mix this up a little bit. Okay, so that we get a good mix. But then, I'll try to get this more evenly coated here. Okay, what we're going to try to do is we're going to do a, um, the technique I'm going to be doing here is we're going to be putting the spices on the griddle here and we're going to try to be basically cooking the spices up um, in the oil ahead of time because that really helps bring out the flavor. Okay, that's really going to help bring out the flavor there. So let's try to Let's try to mix that up here, mix it in with some of the oil. Ooh, that is, man, that's so good smelling, but oh man, that's potent between, I mean, between the three of them, I mean, cayenne, chili powder, cumin, those aren't exactly uh, subtle spices. Okay, if we're being honest here, as far as both taste and smell, so, okay. We get this cooking a little bit, and you want the pan to heat up a little bit before we put in the chicken. Um, and as we're doing that, I'm actually going to, uh, <coughs> excuse me there, I'm going to pre the oven the 300 as we're waiting. So don't be, don't be alarmed if you hear a beep. If you hear a loud beep, that's just the oven telling me it's ready. Okay, so now... What I'm using right here is frozen, already cooked chicken. Um, do it however you want. I mean, for me, this is just easier to deal with. Less time me needing to uh, cut up the chicken. Less time needing to prep it. I'll eventually do some legit, like, you know, cooking actual chicken. Well, I mean, this is actual chicken, but, you know, basically actually cooking the chicken as opposed to this which is a bit of a glorified heating up okay so yeah I, I got a few decent sized handfuls of chicken there uh, let's go ahead let's 
get this going here. <coughs> mm. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the fan here. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully you're able to hear me. Okay, through this. So I'm going to speak up a little bit louder. Okay, I'm going to speak up a bit. And the key with the chicken that we're using here is since it's frozen, you want it to basically unfreeze at the point that it's frozen and, you know, to, you know, a hot temperature. We'll be ready to put it on the, uh, on the nachos. Okay. So, this, letting it sizzle. Shouldn't take too long to get it all cooked and ready. It'll just take a little while. Okay. Oh, and, and with these uh, nachos, so what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using yellow corn tortilla chips. And then I am going to be using uh, some oaxaca cheese, some pickled uh, diced jalapenos. You know, sort of the style that you might get at like the bald park or something. And then... Uh, I'll be topping that off with H, uh, chili sauce, and some sour cream. But we'll get to that part towards the end there, so. Alrighty. Yeah, um, but this, this is just going to take a minute to get up the temp, so. I pretty much said all I need to say right now. Uh, so. I'll be back in just a moment. Soon after. We are back and the oven's ready, the oven's preheated. Uh, what I did is I took a baking uh, tray, baking sheet, I lined it with aluminum foil just for easier cleanup, spread it with the uh, tortilla chips. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken and get it in on over here, okay. I want to get a good spread here. You know, I'm getting at least somewhat even coat. Like, you don't want to be anal retentive about it, but you definitely don't want it to be where like half the chicken's up in like one corner. You don't want that. That's sad. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna layer this. We're first gonna go some of the chicken. All of the chicken. I'm gonna put all the. All the chicken I have here is gonna go on. Come on. I'm uh, trying to get the last of the scraps here. Okay. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Okay, trying to get a little chicken on at least. At least try to get some chicken on each piece, each tortilla chip. Obviously, you know, you don't want to take it too far, but. Okay, so. Okay, we got the chicken on. Next step is, um, there's gonna be two layers of cheese here. So I love cheese. And especially what we're using right now is uh, queso tipo oaca rayada. So it's basically Owaka style cheese that's shredded. Um, the closest thing that we would maybe have is it, it's, it's kind of like string cheese, uh, but even better. Like if you were to just buy it, not shred it, it'll come in a giant uh, ball where you can just kind of pull it apart. So it's like string cheese, but not, not just better tasting, but funner to uh, pull apart and eat if you're just eating a big old block of it. Which I'll admit I've done more than once since I've uh, moved down here to uh, the Rio Grande Valley. Okay, so get a decent layer up right there. Next, though, we want to get some of these jalapenos. 
in here. Okay. And you can do fresh jalapenos or you can do the pickled jalapenos. Honestly, um, as much as I like the fresh jalapenos, okay, you would have seen actually uh, last episode I was using some fresh jalapenos. If you do something like nachos, that's like the perfect time for pickled jalapenos, in my opinion. Like that's when really to bust them out. Now we don't want to do, I mean, I like the heat, but I'm not going to do too much on the uh, pickled jalapeno front, just because we got cayenne involved. We got quite a bit of cayenne, if I'm being honest, involved. So, okay, so that's it for the jalapenos on there. Quickly wash my hands because I was grabbing the jalapenos. And go ahead. Get them dried off here. And go ahead, get just a little bit more of this cheese. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay. Now as far as putting it in the oven, okay, so we have it at 350. As far as in the oven, you're probably talking about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Um, at the very least, check it at the five minute mark, okay? So we're going to check it at the five minute mark, or I will, and then once it's ready, I'll pull it back out and show you the results. So here we go. We're going to put it in the oven here. And... I'm going to set my timer. Okay, and with that, I'll see you in a few minutes. 11 minutes later. So, uh, we're back. It ended up being uh, right around 10 minutes in the oven. Um, I know it's a bit hard to see, but you get a little bit of that browning with the cheese, which is what you want. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some H. Uh, chili salsa verde to this. Sprinkle this around a bit. Okay, I really like H chili salsa. The H chili, it is really flavorful. It's not really, it's really on the mild side as far as uh, chilies go. As far as uh, that's concerned, but it's really flavorful, so I really like them. And then Obviously some sour cream that we're just gonna, not one big heaping pile, but maybe a couple of piles here. Just toss around. Okay, so, uh, that, I'm gonna try one of the chips here. Let's see, and I'll give a verdict here. Ooh. Get a little bit of the salsa, a little bit of the sour cream. Let's try to get a jalapeno in there. Yeah. Then we try to get some chicken in there. And with this, okay. Wait. Now it's up. Hmm. Yep, I would call that a uh, definite success. Uh, just want to get another one in here before I turn the camera off. But yeah, this is this is good. Um, as far as prep time, you're talking about maybe about 10 minutes of prep work. Um, 10 tops 15. 10 minutes cooking time. Oh, well, as far as in the oven, the nachos in the oven. Um, so really in under half an hour, you got some really, really good nachos out of this. So yeah, so that completes the uh, third episode the third ingredient challenge which today was cumin mm. yeah as presented by my friend Scott I, I, I should be mentioning that mentioning who's saying um, who listed what ingredient but yeah so uh, that's that uh, next episode I'm preparing to do banana as presented by my friend Cody uh, banana will be up next on the list. So 
Um, and I plan on doing that tomorrow, so hopefully that video is up tomorrow. Alrighty, take care now.